Mud Hornet, Gypsy Moss, what else does this year have in store for us? Bugs are absolutely disgusting, and I mean, even spiders are bad enough for me, and they're super common. But then we did part one of this video, and I was introduced to 10 more insects that now have a new place in my nightmares. And apparently, you sickos seem to love part one so much, so here I am with part two. Don't say I did not warn you. What is up, you guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video. But now, before we begin, I just want to know what insect you're scared of the most. Is it something as disgusting as a tarantula hawk or is it a butterfly? And if it is a butterfly, what's wrong with you? <laughs> While you're in the comment section though, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you're notified when we upload a new video. But let's just get straight into this one. These are the top 10 insects scarier than the murder hornet part two. Starting us off with number 10 is the scorpion fly. Just sound it out and whatever image pops into your head is more than likely to be accurate about what this creature looks like. Now luckily not all scorpion flies look like they're literally half fly, half scorpion, but the males definitely do. In fact, in fact, the scorpion part of the male is actually their, you know, their genitalia. Oh, and apparently they also have a particular interest in none other than human corpses, which is just bloody fantastic. So if you ever see a swarm of them, I feel like it might be a good idea to either run for your life or call your local authorities. Coming in at number nine is the camel spider. Now believe it or not, this is not some weird hybrid of camel and spider. It is, however, a weird hybrid of a scorpion and a spider. Yep, just more scorpion bugs for us. Now back in the early 2000s, there were rumors that these things were massive. Think baby Aragon from Harry Potter and that they feasted on camel and human stomachs, but that's not entirely true. I mean, they are way bigger than I'm comfortable with measuring at about six inches, but they don't pose a particular risk to humans. They prefer to eat insects, rodents, lizards, and small birds. And their giant mouth beak pincer things probably help with feasting quite a bit. At number eight, we have the Goliath bird. Eater. Honestly, when researching this thing, I saw a picture of it and my legs literally went numb out of fear. I do not like spiders. These giant spiders have a leg span of up to 11 inches, which again is way too big for a spider. And they eat entire birds and they will bite humans if threatened as well. And they can live up to 25 years, which is just way too long for any arthropod, honestly. Thank God these things tend to only live in the rainforest because if they liked more urban areas, I think I would just literally have to live off the grid for the rest of my life life, they'll never find me. I will literally move to Mexico. Filling on number seven slot is the giant Wessa. I honestly just need to cover this one because of the origin of the name. The name Wessa apparently comes from the Maori word Weta Punga, which translates to, and wait for it, God of Ugly Things. And honestly, we should absolutely follow this model of bullying scary bugs by officially naming them ugly. If we're gonna do it to YouTubers online, we may as well do it to bugs, you know what I mean? Now these bugs can apparently get so heavy that they weigh more than a sparrow. They're a bug, yet they weigh more than a sparrow. Can we just take that in? And because they weigh that much, they're actually the heaviest bugs in the world. But do not worry, they are apparently herbivores and known to be quite gentle, which means that although they may be disgusting to look at, they probably won't hurt you or attack you or anything of that nature. Unless obviously they fall out of a tree and hit you on the head, then I mean, you could sustain a concussion. Now at number six is the Titan Beetle. These things at first glance do not look all that intimidating. I will give them that. Until you remember that they can grow to be up to 6.5 inches long and that their front mandibles are strong enough to snap a pencil in half. I know some adults who have trouble doing that. I feel like I'd have trouble doing that. And again, these things only live in the rainforest, thank God. But if you ever find yourself in one, keep an eye out for these beetles because they have been known to attack humans when threatened. And if they can break a pencil in half, I don't even want to know what they could do to our fingers, let alone our skin, and maybe my skull. Coming in at number five now is the bullet ant. Characterized by its black and white body, massive jaws, and its one inch length, these things would definitely cause me to a double or triple take at any picnic. Apparently these ants live in trees, and if you do so much as get too close to them, first they will literally scream, very dramatic, then they'll jump on you and then they will bite you. And if you were wondering how they got their name, it's because their bites apparently feel like you're getting shot with a bullet, so that's that's fun. However, they only live in the rainforest of Nicaragua and Paraguay though, so unless you live there or are planning to go there, you are fine, you are safe, do not worry. At number four, we have the Saddleback Caterpillar, something that actually lives on this continent, which is just bloody brilliant. That was sarcasm if you didn't get that. I don't want any of these things to be on the 
same continent as me, let alone the same country. But this caterpillar is identified by its brownish body and a neon green saddle looking marking on its back. And while it may look cute to some, do not touch it because those hairs sticking out of its back are anything but soft. Touching these will apparently make you break out into a rash and may even cause nausea. So be aware of these. Any of you who live in Mexico or in the eastern parts of North America can be exposed to them and ain't nobody got time for that. Filling on the three saw is the giant silkworm caterpillar. Now individually, silkworms and caterpillars are not dangerous. But I guess mush them together and add the word giant in front of it and it becomes responsible for multiple deaths a year. Apparently, if you get brushed by the bristles on these things, they can cause symptoms of gangrene, blood leakage in the brain, and even death. And the venom it releases even stops blood from being able to clot, so you'll basically just bleed out because you touch a caterpillar, and nobody wants to die like that. Nobody. You're gonna be named the weakest link. Goodbye. Now, at number two is the mango fly, and mangoes are my favorite fruit, so this one hurt me personally. Now, these flies, unprovoked, will apparently bite you and contaminate you with something called eye worms, which is, unfortunately, exactly what it sounds like. They're little worms that live inside your eyeball. Somehow, they don't blind you, but they can be incredibly painful, and you would need surgery to get them removed. I mean, why? What? Like, why? Why? What's purpose could this possibly serve for the mango fly? It isn't even the one eating the eyeballs. It's just, it just planted it there. It just wants to watch the world burn. Kind of like me. We can get along. Me and the mango fly. I see it. And finally, at number one is the assassin bug. Honestly, I really don't want to believe this one exists, but it does. And it has such an unfortunate name as well that I'm like... <laughs> Uh, can we not? Now this bug has sort of a stinger straw for a mouth and uses it to inject its victims with venom. This venom then liquefies their insides. I will let you rewind that so you could hear me say it again. Liquefies their insides. Then the assassin bug uses its straw mouth to suck up the insides of its victim, kind of like a sort of bug smoothie. And then, if that wasn't bad enough, to make matters worse, the assassin bug will attach its victim's hollow body to its back, multiple bodies at a time, by the way. And just thank God the victims of these bugs are other bugs. Just imagine if they were humans and you saw that just carrying a bunch of empty corpses on its back. Like... No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Awful sight. And that is an awful mental image to end the video, but that's exactly what we're going to end the video on. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know if you want a part three in the comments below. And firstly, let me just clarify. I know a lot of people are going to comment about this in the comments because you guys always do. You're always like, is she fat? Does she have abs? Guys, I'm sitting down. Do you really think I'm going to have abs if I'm sitting down? Come on now, everyone has roles when they're sitting down and I'm not embarrassed about it. And that is my PSA of the day. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. As always, I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.